Well, now a 10 of Redlands teenager is heading off to the Army after graduating from high school, but he won't be able to show off his military pride at the ceremony. The senior wanted to wear a U.S. Army sash over his graduation cap and gown. But Redlands High School isn't allowing it. KCAL 9's Tina Patel is live with the story. Tina. Well, graduation is supposed to be a time for students to celebrate what they've accomplished. But this family, this student and this family say that the policy here at this school just doesn't make any sense and doesn't allow for that. Good dance. Elias Velasquez says every time he tries on his cap and gown, it hits him. His high school life is coming to an end. But when he looks at this sash that his Army recruiter gave him, he's excited about what's ahead. I think this is bigger than me. It's a, a whole new lifestyle that I'm going to be transitioning to, and it's, uh, it's a really cool and amazing thing. But Elias won't be wearing this sash when he gets his diploma Friday night because Redlands High School doesn't allow students to wear any sashes at graduation. It doesn't matter if it's from a school club or college or branch of the military. When Elias's dad saw the letter outlining the policy, he went to the school to ask them about it. I think it's, you know, uh, an older policy. Um, they, they called it tradition. He says the school told him they make students all wear the same thing so no one feels left out. I don't agree with the every trophy, every kid gets a trophy mentality. Um, I, I think that some kids work harder than others. Um, it's an individual effort. Elias's stepmother, who's now retired from the Army, agrees. I went to airborne school, and I have airborne wings on my uniform, and I earn those, and not everybody has those. So even within the military, the confines of the military, you have different awards and recognition for things that you've done and accomplished. It's disappointing, but Elias says when it comes to graduation, he'll be a good soldier. All the rules and regulations, I'll follow them all, and I'm not one to disobey a direct order. Now, there are other schools in this district that do allow sashes and cords, so it seems that every school gets to make up its own rules when it comes to graduation. This family tells me they know things probably won't change before Friday ceremony, but they hope the school will reconsider this policy for future graduates. We'll send it back to you. All right, Tina, thank you for that report.